It's just 129 bucks per night in a superior Bayview room, and that includes Brecky Daily. This offer is only available for the first 200 callers, so to book, just visit accorhotels.com.au forward slash morning, or you can call 1300 655 650, and don't forget to mention The Morning Show. Well, they're the cream of the crop, all regular Aussie blokes. Men's health man contenders are rated on all aspects of their lives, work, relationships, fitness, health and presentation. Now, in short, they need to be the ultimate man. Ultimate. They've all got the right attitude to life, that's for sure. And now the judges have whittled it down to just six finalists vying for the title. And here's the big thing, the opportunity to appear on the cover of July's Men's Health magazine. It's huge. Over the next five weeks, the guys will go head to head for the title of Men's Health Man. Ian Cockrell, editor of Men's Health magazine, joins us now, along with three of the six finalists Craig James, Brock Cranage, right here in Sydney with us. And uh, joining us from Melbourne is Dom Requin. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Ian, starting with you, this is the third year the uh, Men's Health uh, Man comp has run. That's right. The standard has changed. How high has it been this, this time? Well, we keep going back to the well. We keep thinking perhaps there's a limited number of guys who can actually shape up like this. But, yes, uh, most single women would think that. Most single women would. <laughs> and we're probably as surprised as the single women. If they venture forth, they'll actually find them, as we've discovered. Uh, the standard has been phenomenal this year. Uh, and if you like, we've, we've raised the bar a little bit this year by putting together some more challenges, mm -hmm. uh, going from driving challenges to cooking challenges. Uh, and a fitness challenge and they've all excelled and the great thing about them is they've all proved to be uh, great guys who are incredible optimists as well. Okay, let's talk to one, one of them, Craig. I mean, people looking at you would know your face and go, oh, that's that Comsec guy. We all know you as chief economist there. How does it feel to be in the top six of this nationwide search? And more importantly, what are the guys at work saying? Mm -hmm. Uh, they've been quite supportive, actually. I would have thought that you know, said I'd get a bit of ribbing, but they've yeah. been very, very supportive. But uh, this has been huge. I mean, you know, I'm just totally stoked. You know, sort of uh, uh, to, to to be in the in the top 12. You know, sort of uh, it was one of those pinch me moments. You know, sort yeah. of uh, and I don't think I've ever had it before. You know, sort of uh, am I dreaming or not? Yeah. Then it was the the top six, and you know, so again a pinch me type moment. But uh, yeah, you know, the families, you know, sort of very proud. You know, sort of wife, and you know, so the the children. I think the children look at it and say, well. If he can do it, the old yeah. man can do something like this. Perhaps I can do something like that as well. And Craig, that's a good story here for you, I reckon, because you're surrounded by a bunch of blokes who go to the gym all day, every day, that sort of thing. You know, you're working really hard and you've dropped a heap of weight to get to where you are now. So how's it improved your life, generally speaking? I mean, even apart, of, apart from this chapter. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's basically Everest for me. I mean, yeah. it's the summit, it's the pinnacle, because I was at 85 kilos, and, you know, sort of health problems started to come through, and, you know, sort of, I'm only a little fella, you know, it's 172, you know, sort of centimetres, so 85 is getting up a bit there, so I got the, the weight down to the early uh, 70s, and, and really, in the last couple of um, months, you know, sort of a bit of travel's caught up with me, the weight started creeping up, I had to chop it down again, so I chopped it down again, you know, so now I'm at 69 kilos, and, you know, sort of, I've found muscle that I've never seen before you know, sort of, um, and, and as a result of that you know sort of uh, we put the entry into to the competition but you know, sort of, I, I tend to think look if, you know, I, I do travel a bit you know so we're long hours you know so I've got, a, got a family you know, if, if I can do it in the late 40s anyone can do it. Brock you have a passion for supporting the less fortunate in life what, what does that do for you how does that satisfy you? Oh well, it basically all started I got a younger brother who's five years old and he's got um, He's got cystic fibrosis, so ever since he was born, um, I mean, from that point on, I've just been more aware of the less fortunate, and, and that's just helped me, it makes me feel good to help the less fortunate, basically. Yeah, there's got to be some goodness behind all this, hey? Now, Brooke, you won the driving, uh, you won the fitness challenges. Do you think that's going to get you across the line, pull off the big title, get you on the cover? Uh, I wouldn't say it'll get me across the line, but hopefully it's a boost in the right direction. Yeah. So, but like they said, it's the man of the year, it's not just about the three challenges, it's about... Yeah person in general, so sure. All right, now let's, let's turn to Dom. Now there is a, a ladies choice component in, in all of this. Well the fact that you won the cooking, I think that should bode well for you. <laughs> From my family and friends perspective, it's, it's a bit of a surprise. I've never been known for my cooking skills, but I'd like to hope that it, it'll help me. Um, I'm against some very stiff competition and I think a little bit, every little bit will help. All right. Hey, Dom, we've just heard uh, Craig talk about the wife and kids and how they've reacted to this. You're married. Yes. You've got three yes. kids, right? What's, uh, what's the fam saying about all of this? Well, Kiara, Tristan and Alicia, they made me mention their names this morning, so yeah. I'll make sure I do that. 
Um, look, they've been part of it from day one. It's been very exciting, and, and that you know, I just hope I'm, I'm the right role model uh, for them, and just trying to set the right example, just like any dad would try to do. Um, it's been fantastic. Okay, Ian, you need to tell us what we can do at home to get involved in this final choice. All right, there's a, there's a voting component of this. If you go to menshealthman.com.au, you can list your vote, register your vote online. Uh, you have up until May 26 to do that. Mm -hmm. And that all contributes to the Big Night, which is a gala event on June the 8th at uh, the Hilton here in Sydney. Uh, the major prize for that, of course, is to be on the cover of July issue. That's what all these guys have put yeah. themselves forward for. <laughs> uh, there's also a uh, six months prizes from... Uh, uh, Nivea for men and also thousands of dollars worth of prizes from Fantastic. Uh, other contributors. Okay, well, good luck, oh, one and all. I reckon it's just much easier to Photoshop <laughs> <laughs> the cover, seriously, I, I but congratulations. Craig, have you crunched the numbers? Yeah. He's probably crunched all the numbers on this. What, what's it? What's your chance? One in six? One, well, I haven't worked out the numbers yet. You're not calling me on. I haven't worked out the numbers yet. I'm speechless. How many in the that? final? Six? There are six. One in six. Partly. Yes. Chief economics. <laughs> the key uh, economics here at uh, seven. We're here at the pick. Economist. Thank you. <laughs> to find out how to vote for your pick of the Men's Health Man competition. Six finalists and how to live a healthy lifestyle. Pick up your copy of Men's Health magazine out Who's there. Who's that fat bloke on the front? Oh, Statham, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up, the latest coats, capes and jackets to keep you warm this winter. We're going to check out the latest looks for every budget. Uh, but first, it's uh, Glenn giving you some perspective now. Thanks, guys. Now, we've all heard the cliched saying that life can change in an instant, but just stop and think about it for a minute.